Now I can ditch my punch cards. With the face made for radio, the voice made for writing, the writing style of a preschooler, and is always late to the party, it's your host Ellis. Yes, that's right, I'm Ellis and this is the House of Ellis YouTube channel. This is the first video where I'll be using my new video capture device. I would have used a screen recorder, but I'm having some issues with random momentary freezes on my system that I have not troubleshot yet. Also, having a dedicated recording system is nice. In the last video, we went over terminology. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and click the theme and bob at the top right to watch that. So in this video, I'll be going over installation, configuration, and testing of IOQuake 3, Quark, and the compiler tools. I'll put links to all this stuff down below. The first thing we'll need is a legal copy of Quake 3 Arena. You can get this from several different places, but to make it easy, you can get this from Steam. They do have a Quake collection which includes Quake 1, Quake 2, Quake 3, and some extras. This collection typically goes on sale once a year for a deep discount. The next thing we'll want is IO Quake 3. If you're not familiar with IO Quake 3, it's a modern code update of the original Quake 3 engine. It's available for Windows, Linux, and the OS that won't be mentioned, and has been forked to things like the Raspberry Pi and Android devices. Take 138. So I've been working with the uh, new capture device. It definitely has some oddities that I'm still trying to figure out. Uh, videos, trying to import them into the editor and having some issues with that. Uh, but I think I might have it figured out. Uh, if this is the posted video, then I definitely figured it out. Okay, I'm on the IO Quake 3 website. We're just gonna go down to download. Then I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to Windows x86. Uh, this is the stable version. They do have some uh, nightly builds, but they are prone to have some errors. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the engine and the data installer. The next step is the Quark website, which will have the rest of the stuff that we need. Scroll down and click the Search Forge download page link. Located right here. I advise downloading their latest nightly release, which of this recording is 6.6.0 beta 7, located right here. Let's go back to the Quark website and click on Game Tools under Download. Scroll down to the Quake 3 Arena section. Download Q3 Map 2 version 2.5.17 or higher. This program will handle the task of compiling our maps. Since I have a 64-bit machine, I'm going to download the x64 version. Download BSPC version 2.1i. This program is used for creating AAS files for bot support. And finally, download Packscape. This program will make it where you can distribute your map and all its resources easily. With all that downloaded, let's get installing. Let's go ahead and install our IO Quake 3 engine first. Click Yes to the UAC. Click Next. Next. And change the destination folder to C colon backslash IO Quake 3. This will take care of problems with UAC later on. Since this is completed, go ahead and close out this. Then we'll go ahead and install the data files. Click Yes. Click Next. Go ahead and agree to giving up your firstborn. Click Next. And the destination folder is already picked out for us, so that's good. So go ahead and click Install. Go ahead and close this out once it's complete. The next thing we need to do is copy over the pack0.pk3 file from our Steam install. To the right, you see that I have it as C, Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Quake 3 Arena, Base Q3. So just go ahead and highlight it, do a control C for copy, and we'll go over to our other window, which is just C IO Quake 3 base Q3. And just go ahead and paste that in with a control V. And there we go, now we have the full game. Next thing we probably want to do is create an auto exec C.cfg. So let's go ahead and do a right click, do new, text document, and let's go ahead and rename that auto exe C dot cfg and get rid of the dot txt extension go ahead and say yes to changing it now you might not have this associated with anything so go ahead and right click open with and you might have to click the more apps but I'm just using the notepad for this with that open I'm just going to dump in a config real quick the configuration I posted in this configuration will run at 1920 by 1080. The version of IO Quake 3 that I downloaded does not have this in the configuration screen, so I have to set it manually. If your resolution is different, go ahead and set the width and height to your resolution. 
Go ahead and save this file and exit the file. We can go ahead and close out the uh, Steam folder here. The next thing we want to do is go to the IL Quake main folder. Go ahead and do a right click, then new, then folder, and name it tools. Go ahead and open your downloads again. Go ahead and double click on Q3 map 2517. Go ahead and just highlight all the stuff in there and drag it to your tools folder. Go ahead and exit that. And go ahead and repeat that with BSPC. And also with Packscape. And finally, we want to install Quark. Click Yes. Go ahead and select your language and click OK. Click Next. Click Accept the Terms. I'll also want your firstborn. Go ahead and click Next. Click Next. Go ahead and uncheck the Show README because who reads those things? Go ahead and click Finish. We'll get a pop up. Go ahead and click OK. We'll get the Quark Explorer window here. Click the Games button. Scroll down to Quake and go down to Quake 3. Go ahead and click this button for new Quake 3 map and we get the main window. Go up to options, down to configuration, expand this window out so we can see what we're doing. Scroll down to Quake 3. We're going to change the Quake 3 command line as we see that our Quake 3 is now iOquake3.x86.exe, so we'll change it to that. Next, we'll need to change our directory to CIOQuake3. Under Build Programs Execution Sequence, we want to change the default directory of Build Programs to CIOQuake3 Tools. The next thing we'll need to do is change the references of Q3Map.exe to Q3Map2.exe. There's three places to do that. We'll leave the bspc.exe alone. Go ahead and click apply, then OK. The next thing we want to do is make sure that we got this properly configured. So go up to Quake 3 in the menu bar and click go. There we go, we have it running. Go ahead and hit escape. Go down to exit game. Go ahead and hit yes. Go ahead and click one more time. And there we go. That's it. If you like this video, perform a clickety click click on that thumbs up button. And if you are interested in following the series or just stalking me, go ahead and click that subscribe button and maybe even slam that bell. So until next time, fellow YouTubians, go out and capture that flag.